Celebrating New Year's Eve safely, Metro Police are cracking down to make sure everyone has a good and safe time while ringing in the new year. Today on Behind the Badge, we're joined by Officer Misael Para about the preparations ahead of tomorrow night. Good morning, Misael. So good to see you in person. Good morning, Alyssa. It's nice to meet you in person. And yeah, it's that time of the year. We're getting ready to welcome over 300,000 guests. Uh, locals and uh, tourists to the downtown area and to the Las mm -hmm. Vegas Strip. And so we want to remind people that we're going to be out there in full force, making sure that we're doing everything that we can to keep them safe. But we're also going to need their help uh, to yeah. keep them safe this, this day, this New Year's Eve. And so, of course, America's party is back. It was canceled. Uh, was it last year? It was canceled last year. That's so you guys feeling uh, prepared after that break to bring back all those enforcements along the Strip? Absolutely. You know, every year after New Year's, we start looking at what we did right and what we could have done better uh, that year mm -hmm. so that we can start preparing for the next year. And we work very closely with our local, state and federal partners, as well as our private partners on the Strip to, to put together a plan to make sure that everything is covered so that on that night, the people that are there can feel safe. Uh, and as part of that, we have some restrictions in place that we want to remind folks about. So starting on New Year's Eve at 6 p.m., uh, uh, there's not going to be any bags allowed on the strip. So anything larger than 12 by 12 by 6 inches, okay. no luggage, no uh, diaper bags, anything over that size will be prohibited on the strip as well as any coolers or any other large objects. Mm -hmm. um, the important thing about this is that we want to remind folks uh, it's all about education. So we'll give people an opportunity to step away from the area with those items uh, because the last thing that we want to do is have to confiscate those items. Right, right. And I'm sure people don't want that either. They bring what they think they'll need for the night and then they'll be separated from them because they just can't bring it. You, you just never know. In, in yeah. They may the also bring age. bottles or uh, other uh, canned drinks. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's all stuff that's not going to be allowed. Uh, and for a full list of uh, prohibited items, they can okay. visit our website on LVMPD.com. So obviously there are these restrictions in place which people need to abide by. But what do we do if we see something suspicious, either on the Strip or downtown, anywhere for that matter, while we're out celebrating? So as always, if anybody sees anything suspicious that just doesn't look right, it's always best to report mm -hmm. it. There's going to be thousands of officers out there on the strip and downtown so you can approach an officer and let them know about whatever it is you may be seeing however small the detail may be uh, it's always best to let us know that way we can look into it and make sure that it's nothing that's going to put the public in danger right it's better to be safe than sorry absolutely have you ever heard about somebody feeling guilty after the fact i i thought about reporting this incident but it was a little too late they just maybe felt guilty about yeah reporting something that maybe isn't sketchy after sure. all? And you know, sometimes people don't want to bother the police. They feel like they, they, they're bothering us, but really that's what we're there for. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure that we're as approachable as, as possible when we're out there. So, you know, if you have a concern, uh, like I said, however small it may be, reach out to those officers that are out there. Or if you're not on the strip or near an officer, yeah. call 911 and report it. We'll send out officers to investigate. And again, we want to make sure that everything is going to be good and that everybody's safe that night. Right. And speaking of safe that night, a lot of people will be drinking. Will there be extra DUI enforcement? There will be. We're going to have our New Year's Eve Blitz, which is going to be a multi-jurisdiction effort involving the city marshals and Nevada State Police. Uh, we're going to be out in full force valley-wide looking out for impaired drivers as a result of alcohol and drugs. So if you're going to be drinking that night, make sure that you have a plan. There's, you can do ride share, uh, have a designated mm -hmm. rider, uh, or I'm sorry, a driver or you can also uh, take public transportation. Yeah. So there's plenty of options out there. There's no excuses for driving while under the influence. Right, and you already know, rideshare will be under surge pricing, so prepare for that as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Officer Parra. We appreciate it. Thank you, Alyssa, and have a happy new year. You too, happy new year. Thank Hope you. 2022 is great for you. And if you have a question for Metro, send us an email to behindthebadge at fox5vegas.com.